Sometimes you just have to admire a work of art. And that's what we have here in this truck model from WSI. It is a Volvo FH4 Globetrotter XL 4x2 with a volume tipper trailer. This is a limited edition model and it's in the colours of Hilke of Germany. But for sure it's not your normal Volvo plus a tipper trailer. This one is highly decorated with artwork. Out of the box there are just the two parts of the model, the Volvo tractor and the tipper trailer. Before we start, just a reminder that you can see a lot more about models on the Cranes Etc website, and the link to it is in the video description below. Also, if you want to know where you can buy scale models, then you can click on links on the website, including those in the shopping mall. And listed here are dealers that sell models in countries across the world. The assembly is very straightforward, you join up the tractor and trailer and clunk click does the trick. In time honoured fashion we start underneath the Volvo and the detailing is of the usual high standard. The gearbox is coloured green and the tanks and exhaust are modelled. There's also a box and the transmission is nicely detailed and there are different tyre types, front and rear. Looking down on the Volvo and the roof light is darkened so you can't see inside. There are stub aerials and a nice light bar and there's the Hilker name and a decorated visor. Although it's difficult to see there is Volvo on the seat backs and there is very intricate artwork on the front grille. You can also see how the grille has got nice perforations. There's a realistic number plate and Volvo on the mud flaps, and very nice lights too. Of course, in one sense, this model is all about the artwork, and that even includes curtains in the side windows. The Volvo also has nice looking wheels. The very high quality decoration extends through onto the side fairings, and on the back of the cab, there's a giant selfie of an elephant, and it's impressive how the artwork follows the intricate lines in the casting. The side fairings also have structure detail. That high quality decoration continues on through to the wheel arches. And at the back there's the number plate again. And the rest of the detailing looks really good. Looking underneath the trailer and it has a nicely modelled structure. And it's good to see that there are hoses running from one end to the other. In the middle there's a spare wheel holder. And the three axles are all well detailed with suspension components. The tyres and wheels are also very good quality. At the front of the trailer there are connection points for coiled lines. And the ladder work is metal. This trailer isn't exactly the same as the real life one, which slopes forward at the front. The wheels have a nice bright finish. And forward of them the box and sidebars are modelled in plastic. But again the highlight of the model is the very high quality graphics. And even viewed very close up, it is excellent. Other impressive details include these slight protrusions in the side of the trailer. And if we turn the trailer on its side, they seem to line up with ratchet attachments on the bottom. And even though the artwork is king, it's good to see these small details. There's more impressive artwork on the rear door. And there's also some modelling in the casting to represent the door locks. Below the door there's more impressive detailing including a nice bumper bar with plenty of graphics. There's a plastic cover on top and it's textured to represent tarpaulin. For the features we start with the Volvo on its back and the rear axle spins well enough and it's good to see that there's some decent steering on the front axle. Moving out onto the Cranes Etc Autobahn and the Volvo's steering mechanism is a little loose so it wants to self steer as you drive it along. But for posing purposes there is enough steering movement available to produce something interesting. With all that driving about we had better check that this Volvo has an engine. And fortunately there's a nicely tilting cab. 
And that lets us see that there's a Volvo branded engine underneath. And it's made interesting because it has some different coloured components. When we're done we can stick our thumb in the elephant's face and close up the cab. The trailer has freely spinning axles and a nice bit of model engineering gives them all independent suspension. There are a pair of landing legs and these can be lowered by unscrewing. And when they're both lowered, they give the trailer a nice steady base on which to stand when it's not connected to a tractor. Rolling the whole vehicle along is not perfect because the lead axle on the trailer isn't fully grounded. But there's a full range of movement of the tractor on the fifth wheel. And if you like jiggling your suspension, it works well enough. This is a tipper trailer, so let's see how it tips. And it's controlled by a multi-stage ram at the front. It works pretty well and most poses can be held. And on the review model there was just a bit of looseness in the top stage. The overall tipping angle might be just a touch shallow. And at the rear we can open the door, although it is not free swinging. Once we're done we can lower the tipper body and shut up the door. Another display option is possible on the model and that's by taking off the replica tarpaulin cover. That then gives you an open top tipper and we can see inside it. And if you want to replace the cover it's straightforward enough. You just need to widen out the cover at the rear end where it goes over the door hinges. This is a very nice model of a Volvo and a volume tipper trailer and it combines high detail with decent functionality. But the star of the show on a model like this is the high quality artwork. It's beautifully applied and it looks great. So if you want a really good looking limited edition, this one is excellent. <laughs>